Hey guys, it's C2 here with a really, really cool tutorial I'm going to be doing very quickly. Um, before I start this, I want to say I do not own this tutorial. I found it uh, in no way or mean do I mean to like copy it just to copy it. Um, I'll probably give credit to the guy in the description that I found the video on. Uh, I'm probably going to follow it step by step. I feel like it's really cool and a lot more people should know about it. So uh, yeah, let's get into it. Um, the first thing you want to do is open new Lightroom and then create an environment and then you're going to want to create a go to simulate particles emitter and then create and we're going to go to shader pyro cluster shader pyro cluster volume clip pyro cluster volume tracer now for the pyro cluster you're going to go to settings user volcano and here you can change the color I'm just going to put mine at white doesn't really bother me that much um, for the emitter you're going to want to find which way it comes out so it comes out that way so that means we have to take it back and I'm just going to put mine straight up so rate, rotate 90 degrees backwards if I can get it oh my god OCD is killing me okay there we go and uh, we're just going to play it through real quick um, let it re redo the cycle and then um, now that we have our environment and our emitter we're going to drag the volume tracer to the environment and the power cluster material to the emitter and we are going to render and you'll see you have a faint amount of smoke like you can see kind of like the outline of it but it needs something more so and then that's where these lights come in and uh, I'm going to drag this light out here uh, duplicate it basically I'm just going to follow the boxes on here so then bring it out here so it's right in front of that and then duplicate it again bring it back over to the side um, we're going to take all of these lights and we're going to change the shadows to s shadow map soft that's very important and uh, just kind of bring the intensity down to let's say 70 sounds good so now when we render it and this doesn't have any global illumination or anything on it at all um, you can see the smokes very very detailed uh, I don't even know what it would look like if we throw on like ambient occlusion or something let's just try that it's probably gonna take a lot longer it probably helps it a little bit um let's say we were to throw on global illumination let's try that and a lot of this is just going to be trial and error um from playing around with it i'll show you some different things you can do so as you can see they're balls right now and uh if you go to the emitter and where was it at <coughs> excuse me sorry i'm very sick um i'm sorry go to the pyro cluster and we're gonna go to the shape you can change the shape you can see it's a sphere you can change it to a box and i believe that should alter the alter the render uh yeah as you can see it, it changes the render around a little bit this almost looks more like a like a almost like a like highly detailed brush splat now that would be pretty cool um probably used on a background maybe you could like incorporate like a, a logo or something here and uh, that'd be pretty cool i think that looks pretty awesome with it because it, it actually kind of um displaces i guess will be the right term cuts out you can see kind of like the splatters off to the side uh let's change it to what was the other one like cone cylinder sorry uh, let's change it to cylinder that looks pretty cool too um that pretty much just kind of changes it up from when we had it as a sphere you could almost pick out the spheres in here so I'll render it again um as you can see like uh sphere right here sphere there sphere there try saying try saying that many times sphere there sphere there sit there blah, blah, blah. it's like a tongue twister okay so as you can see uh you can just change little things right here and um i don't know I think you can just change the color right here and it can alter the uh like the whole that shebang so that should edit it yeah now you have uh funky red smoke so I, th I think that'd be pretty cool on something if someone could incorporate that right but um if you just kind of want to have like a uh slight coloration in it you can also come to these lights here and if we click on the light go to general you can see you have a color here a lot of people don't know this you can tweak it so now our smoke's going to be light blue on the left side and you can see right here it's kind of light blue it's kind of got like a gradient going on now 
let's make this smoke look like it's on like L L L LSD or something. So now we're going to put it to red in the middle. Then over on the side here, let's do something crazy like uh, it's high on perp. So then we're going to do this one right here. And uh, that is some funky looking smoke. That is pretty awesome for not having any like really highly detailed renders anything like that I think that's pretty cool let's zoom in a little bit and do another render um like I said I don't own this effect uh, I merely found it and I thought it was pretty cool bring it to light and show some of you guys I think someone could really do something with this and pull it off pretty sick it kind of like a good idea right here with like the gradient on the side and the different color actually I might use this I don't know if you see a background in the future with this just know that I got it from this tutorial um, like I said the guy will be linked in the description um, if you want a better effect put it to like sphere or cylinder as you can see it's kind of clumpy and uh, as you can see there's like a line oh no it rendered it out but uh, it's really stuck together so let's say we're going to come here go to shape and put it on box that's what I meant uh, and we'll do another render and hopefully it like spreads out a little bit little wisps of smoke and that should look pretty cool um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial like I said it was pretty quick I think um, the guy will be linked in the description I don't own this tutorial hopefully someone can do something cool with this and uh, there will be more coming out um, I don't know exactly what I'm planning on doing right now for the next tutorial, but hopefully it'll be something pretty useful like this, and hopefully you guys can enjoy it. So uh, leave a like on the video, follow us on Twitter at Composited for updates and all that shebang. Um, thank you. Leave a comment if you enjoyed. Peace.